نشته Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Mass. And we continue. Uh, let's be mindful of all our mistakes and also to offer up our intention for this Mass. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so to prepare ourselves for the sickness mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let's pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing have firm foundation, Nothing is holy. Be so in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we might use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. For in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit." Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts to scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When, you, when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking to you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will raise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. I have uh, shared with many of you in uh, 2016 when I first ordained. And so I wanted to, uh, to start the city of God. So I was saying to Jesus, I said, you know, Jesus, if you want me to build the city in Vietnam at this location, then give me a sign and then I said to him, I said, you know, um, if mm, when my uncle go and ask the, uh, the owner of the land behind it, uh, if he is willing to sell the land, then that means you want me to, to build here, you want me to create it here. And then that was happened. And so my uncle went and asked the person that had the land behind, and then they, they are willing to sell. And so I said, okay, that is his will. Because I pray, I said, you know, if God convinced the owner to sell the land, then that is a sign that he wants us to build here. And so that's how we started the city of God. But of course, every time, every time, when something difficult happened, I wonder, I doubted him, I questioned him. Until recently, a week ago, when I was laying on my bed, and then I, I, you know, I, I continued to say to him, I said, you know, this is your will that you want me to do this. And then suddenly, I remember, I remember he said to me, I gave you the land. Why are you keep doubting me? And from that very moment on, I said to him, I said, Jesus, I am sorry that I have been doubting you, I have been wondering. You did, you did give me the land. And so my dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus is reminding us that we will be continue to be persecuted, we will be continue to be the enemies of many, and even our own brothers, our own sisters, and those around us, will one day my hand us over. But remember what Jesus said. Those who endure until the end will be saved. And of course, it is not easy. Like I have shared with you, even though when Jesus has given me a sign, I continue to doubt, I continue to wonder every time when something difficult comes or some obstacles or whatever. And so, 
it is part of being human. It is our nature. When it comes to suffering, when it comes to pain, when it comes to doubts, when it comes to obstacles, that we, we began to do that. We began to doubt. We began to question. And so I hope that today God will that when it passes, those who endure to the end will be saved. And so how do we going to endure until the end? Don't think that this at all it will be 50 years or 100 years. That is how we give up because if we think about that long of suffering, long of enduring, but if that pain, that suffering is here, then just say, it's only going to be another minute. Or something that we have been caring for, then just say, it's only going to be today. And then if tomorrow morning when we wake up, it's still there, then we continue to say, it's only going to be today. That is one small way to help us. And it might be true. It might be the only day that we have today because tomorrow we don't know. And so as we continue with all the things that we have to do, our responsibility and also our calling, our vocation, the task that is at hand. And so I also recommend that when we do something important, when we do something that affected others, that we spend time to pray to Jesus Christ, ask him to give us a sign So that at least when we have the sign from Jesus Christ, then when those difficult moments come, when struggle is there, we remember that it was from Him, and then we continue. You know, for for over three years, every time, every time, some difficult come, I wonder, I doubt. Until a week ago, like I said, then suddenly I recognized that and I said, Oh, Jesus Christ, I am sorry. I have been doubting you. And yet you did give me the sign. And then I, I, I said to him, I promise you from now on, no matter how difficult it's going to be, I will continue. And so for us, those who have been struggling, whether that is to care for our loved one at this moment, or the pandemic, or whatever it is, turn to Jesus Christ. Talk to Him. Because often in the moment of silence, that we hear His voice, that He talks to us. And that's how every time when there's difficulty or something happened in my life, the first person that I turn to is Jesus Christ. Of course, I have the key to the church, and so you know, I, I would open the church to, to, be, to spend time here in front of the tabernacle, but you might not have the key. And so sometimes spending time with Jesus Christ for you might be going to your room, going to your car, drive somewhere, so that you have that moment of silence, or stop by the church. Even though the church is not open, stop by the church here. You know that Jesus is in here. And then you talk to him from outside. Those are some ways. So that Jesus will remind us the way he has reminded me many times when I spend that time in silence with him. He doesn't appear physically, but he talked to me that way. And so I hope that you too will continue to have that relationship with Jesus Christ. So that in moment of difficulty, in moment of doubt, that we're able to overcome it because 
Jesus is with us. And like he said, those whom endure until the end will be saved. Let's stand for our petition. Almighty God, we ask you to continue to bless our Pope, all the bishops, and all the clergy that they continue to need your church, that they too remember those who endure until the end will be saved. We pray to the Lord. We pray for each one of us as we are here, continue to serve, continue to care for one another, that we too always remember what Jesus has said to us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who are ill, who are dying, that at this moment they too remember and they too recognize Jesus Christ, and especially in those doctors, nurses, and those of their family who are caring for them at this moment. We pray to the Lord. We shall pray for all of our political leaders as they continue to govern our country, that every decision they make, every law they enact, that those laws and those decisions benefit the people. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for all the special intention that we hold deep in our hearts. And we also pray for today's Mass intention. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, today you're reminding us that those who endure until the end will be saved. And so we ask you to continue to give us the strength, to continue to give us the wisdom, so that in those difficult moments we turn to you. And we ask under this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, as you become first the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become first our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most secret mysteries might sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, 
For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us to Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to the gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels sent things, we too give you thanks in exhortation we acclaim. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they might become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and one more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the moment of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held the world free to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and yet our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we might merge to be co-heir to eternal life, and might praise and glory you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and to ever. As our Savior command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Because of the uh, COVID-19, and so there's a lot of things that uh, we cannot do because we want to protect one another. And one of those things is that when the Eucharist minister come and give you communion, please do not say anything because at that time you say in your heart. Uh, because when you are so close to one another, uh, that become more likely if you have the virus that you will give it to one another. And so that's why uh, when the EM give you communion at that time, just say in your heart. Uh, you know, Jesus know that. He knows from your heart. And so now I will raise up the body of Christ and I will say the body of Christ and we all respond, amen. We will say that out loud or we will say that so that and that when the Eucharistic minister come to give you communion, please be famous on doing that out of love for one another. The body of Christ.
we have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son, grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, might profit us for salvation. To Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And may mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. The Mass has ended. Go in peace.